everything in terms of dates is all set off of your frost free date. Anybody happen to know what our frost free date is here in Spanish Fork? Well, the answer is it varies because um, obviously the weather varies. So the National Weather Station or Weather Service has a, a weather monitoring system in Spanish Fork, and it has one just about everywhere. Um, here's Utah's. I mean, these are all the places that it monitors the weather. These, I got eight pages here for just Utah places. What they've done is they've taken 30 years of data and said, there's a 10% chance that it's going to freeze after this date. And so you can be pretty good, you can feel pretty good about planting or you knew in all of your scheduling of planting off of that date because we've got 30 years of data says it's not gonna freeze after that. The first row of numbers is your spring date. That is the date of 90% chance that it will freeze after that date. So does that make sense? So um, April 29th, there's a 90% chance it's going to freeze again after April 29th here in Spanish Fork. Okay? But then the next date is there's a 50% chance, and then the next day there's a 10% chance. So I prefer the, to use the 10% chance date as our frost-free date. The great thing about having those different probabilities is you can see how tight the probabilities are. Like if it's three days between the 10% chance and the 50% chance, you know, I mean, it just drastically drops the, the percentage. And so you could feel pretty good maybe about um, pushing those dates a little bit closer. But if it's two months between those two dates, then you know you want to get toward the uh, lower probability. The next three dates are the fall dates. That's when it's probable to freeze. So the first date, it, there's a 10% chance that it will freeze before this date. The first one. The second one's 50 and the third one's 90. I like to use the 50% date for this freeze date because most of the time my plants that are in the garden can handle a freeze uh, in the fall.